Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the topic of plane and descriptive geometry. So in this video we're going to look at how to locate surfaces on an oblique plane and we're going to apply this to a basic cut solids question. So we'll begin by just first of all um, just doing a quick recap on our horizontal sections method that we use to locate points on our oblique plane. So in this case here we have a triangle A, B and C. Here we have it in plan view. Here we have it in 2D and over here we have it in 3D here like that so we can see A, B and C and this surface or this section of a surface uh, also known as a lamina is resting on our oblique plane here like that and we can see that point B is resting on the horizontal plane so to find that in elevation here we simply just take B and project it straight up and there is B located in our elevation. Um, in order to find points C and A, we're going to use our horizontal section method, uh, which was the idea of raising a level of water, if you want to think of it that way, um, or a horizontal plane, up until it's at the same height as C here. And raising it up like so, will allow us to get a trace or a watermark from C along the surface. So this is along our surface here, so along our oblique plane, we can find the point where it crosses our back wall or vertical plane and our vertical trace here. So in our plan view that simply looks like a line parallel to our horizontal trace. We can see where that um, watermark hits our back wall here is on our vertical trace. So this is the point where it hits the back wall. We project it up into elevation and there's our point on the vertical trace locating as the height of our horizontal plane or our water level. So we take a line horizontally across representing the water level and we project C straight up locating C in elevation and it's exactly the same then for point A. We raise up our level of water up a little bit higher so now it's at the same height as A going to give us a new watermark again our watermark being parallel to the horizontal trace we locate where it hits the back wall this point here and then we project it up into elevation where we know it's going to be on the vertical trace. So there it is in the vertical trace giving us the height of our plane and projecting A up gives us A. So now we have A, B and C are three points on our section of our plane or our lamina and we just simply join them up to locate the elevation of our object. And this is just borrowing from our previous technique that we saw in our last video how to locate a point on an oblique plane. So this m is our method for locating our surface and what we're going to do now is going to use this method to locate the cut surface of a solid being cut by an oblique plane. So if we look at it here we have our VTH which is the traces of our oblique plane and here we have a solid, the plan view of our solid and the elevation. Now this method only works when we're dealing with prisms. It won't work when we're dealing with solids that are rotated like a sphere um, or a cone or objects that are like a pyramid. It only works with prisms because in it, when we're dealing with prisms we always have a view where one of our edge or all of our edges are seen as a point. So if we take this edge here in our plan view that edge is seen as a point view. So it only works when you see your corner or your edge as a point view. So if we look at our 3D view here, what we're dealing with is our oblique plane with our VTH and it's slicing through our prism like that. So the top half here is going to be removed away giving us the bottom half and this cut surface here. Now when it comes to using our horizontal sections method um, or our water level method, um, really I like to ignore the bottom of the solid. I just like to think about this cut surface here. This cut surface here is essentially a two-dimensional surface on our oblique plane. And if you look here in our plan view, well when we look from above, this red surface here, this cut surface, that's just seen here in our plan view. So this actually is our cut surface as seen from above. So we're just ignoring the rest of the solid, just looking at the red surface here, looking from above, we already have it. So now we have a situation exactly like our previous example. We have our oblique plane and we have our surface in plan view. So exactly like in our last example we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to take each of our points, so like point number one, we're going to raise up our water level and we're going to draw in our horizontal trace. So there's a watermark like so, parallel to our horizontal trace in plan. Where it hits the back wall we're going to project it up onto the vertical trace giving us the height of our watermark. 
I'm going to bring it across and we can either project one up or we already have the edge here so that locates as our point number one so that's our point on our cut solid um, where our oblique plane cuts through corner or edge one we're going to repeat the process then for corner two so project them along there's a new watermark again parallel to our horizontal trace project it up onto the vertical trace and straight across and you can see the fact that it, it comes in line with number one here is just a coincidence that doesn't have any bearing it doesn't have to be in line with number one it just happened to be that way and that's going to give us our point number two we repeat the process for number three there's a new watermark like so where it hits our back wall our xy line in plan view project it up onto the vertical trace and across and that's point three and the same with point number four so point number four project it up and bring it across giving us each of our points which we're able to just join up and make sure you label them all as you go along because sometimes if you're dealing with a complicated part it can be hard to visualize how they join up so as you're moving along make sure you label them as you go so that when it comes to finishing the piece you're able to just join one two three and four giving you the cut surface now when you're setting up this question because what we're left with is the bottom of our piece and our cut surface draw it all in nice and light so you can just keep the part of the object that's going to remain so the top half here you can actually just draw in light or draw in construction so it fades into the background and that is our completed solid so that is the cut surface of our solid located when it's cut by an oblique plane and it's a very very useful method for um locating our cut surface like so um, that's our video and anyway, so um, our next video is going to look at how to deal with cut solids that are um, say aren't prisms but say the likes of pyramids so if you're interested in that I mean stay tuned to our next video thank you very much